everyone, it's Erin Peliquin from Digital Photography for Moms. I wanted to show you in this video the first three things I do anytime I install Elements on a new computer or upgrade it to the most recent version. These are little tweaks that make it easier for me to work in Elements space. So when you open Elements for the first time in the editor, you are going to see these options up here. So the quick editor is designed to make it really easy for people to adjust their photos if they've never had photo editing experience before. However, once you start using the quick editor, you'll soon start to feel very limited by the lack of control that you have over your edits. The guided edit is supposed to be the next step. It gives you some adjustments that are more sophisticated and give you a little bit more control. But if you really want to use elements to the full extent of what it's capable of, click on the expert mode. The expert mode is where you're going to find all of the tools that you have access to that can really give you fine tuning and control over your photo edits and also your graphics, your cards and scrapbook pages and things like that. So once you have clicked on the expert editor mode after that, whenever you open elements from now on, it will default to expert and you won't have to click on it again. Unless, of course, you go back and activate quick or guided. So in other words, Elements is going to default to the last workspace that you used. Now, after you have activated the expert mode, I want you to look over here at the panels bin. So recent versions of Elements have given you something like this, where you can click on these four options down here, and each one of those will show you the corresponding tools up here on the right. Now, this isn't enough for me. I use this panel's bin too much. I rely on it in my editing too much. And so what I'm going to do is click on the More button. I'm actually going to click on that small arrow just to the right of the More button. And then I'll select Custom Workspace. And so you see that what that does is it gives me these panels up here and so I can click between them. And that's really the same things that we had access to just a moment ago. But I am going to add on to that by using this window menu to select actions and some of the other tools that I like having access to. So you can see right now that this second panel is kind of floating out in the workspace. I want to dock it over here in my panels button. So I'm going to click and drag it down here and I'm going to hover right over that line above the more button and I'm going to hover until I see it kind of light up in blue. So you can see right there when I hover in just the right place I get that blue highlight. When I see that I'll release my cursor and that allows me to dock my second set of panels. And so now that I've done that this is really kind of more busy than I like. So I am going to go to the panels that I don't use and close each one. So color swatches, for instance, I'm going to click on this icon at the top right color, a top right corner, and then I'll select close. And I'll do the same up here. I don't need favorites or graphics or effects. So I can hit close on all those. And then I like to drag my actions panel all the way up here next to layers, just like that. And so now I can access all of these pretty simply. Now, if I ever want to go back to those panels that I had hidden before, for instance, graphics, I can do that just by using the window menu. Now the final tweak that I make when I begin using a new Elements installation is related to the History panel. So when you are editing a photo, this History panel is going to show you by default the last 20 changes that you've made. And you can use it to undo those changes if you decide that you don't like the way your project is looking. Now 20 steps isn't really enough for me, so I like to change that. I like to tell Elements to remember more steps. So we are going to do that through the elements preferences. Now, if you're on a PC, you are going to change that using, you're going to find preferences using the edit menu. If you're on a Mac, you'll find them under this Adobe Photoshop Elements Editor menu. 
So either way, you'll select preferences and then you'll select performance. And you can see here that my history states is currently at 50. Yours, if you haven't changed this before, will be at 20. So go ahead and take it up to 50 if you want to. I don't recommend going higher than, than 50 because it will slow down your software performance. And if you've got a very slow computer to begin with, I don't recommend going even as high as 50. You might want to take it down a little bit lower. So once you've changed that, you'll simply hit OK. And now when you start editing a photo, you'll see 50 steps here in the history panel. So these are the top three tweaks that I make whenever I use a new Elements installation. I've got lots more Photoshop Elements tutorials available for free on my website. That's digitalphotographyformoms.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.